Good evening and welcome back. As you can see today, we are away against Milan. It's the Europa League semi-final. Can't wait to get into this one. And just looking at Milan's team, you've got the likes of Rafael Liao, who I absolutely love. I'd love to buy him. Got Botman, who is currently in real life a Newcastle player. They've got some great talents on the bench as well. You've got the likes of Origi, Balde at left back. And just looking at our team, Ruben Castro is on and up. We did get a notification that Marie Bear was somehow injured after the last match. And Ogbonna did have a red card against Arsenal, if you remember, in the quarterfinal. So he's missing. So a couple of absentees. But to be honest, it doesn't really change much. This is the lineup we're going in with. Brought in Balbuena in place of Omar Ajik. But other than that, that's pretty much the standard lineup we would be going in with. And I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've played at the San Siro in this game. And it looks absolutely stunning. It's a shame we didn't get an outside shot of it like we did with the Emirates. Um, yeah, and love the AC Milan strip. Always love the uh, black and red. But let's jump into it. We'll get cracking. Really want to take a, a lead away uh, into the second leg back home. Be, obviously, be great to get a comfortable lead. But I would, I would take any lead at the moment confident when we're at home that we can do a great job really got to watch out for Rafael Leal though we had him in our Pez 6 career mode that we played before this and he was an absolute start as you can imagine he's great on the left wing he's great up top he can play anywhere in the, in the front three really but more so on the left or, or centre He is back who uh, is uh well back into the squad. Um well the first lineup, sorry. Is Martinelli. Martinelli oh, comfortable save from Perrin. And because we've never played Milan before, I'm not sure what to expect. Like how good are they actually going to be? I I know some of their players. You know, a few of the players well, some of them not so much. Oh, Martinelli passes a little bit behind him, otherwise he was in there. Botman, I mean, Botman is a player I would love to buy, but I think when I had a look at his... I think his release fee was extortionate. Um... We're not really about going after massive... Well, we haven't got the funds at the moment to, to go after massive plays in terms of fees. Um, I think we've got about 30 million. He's back there. Uh, good tackle. Now, Balbuena's a bit out of position here, so we need to win the ball back. And he does very high up the pitch. Perez again couldn't quite work a shot. Oof. That'll be a corner, and Cousins is back in, thankfully, and he's such a good player to uh, set pieces. Obviously, I say that, and he doesn't put in the best of balls. It wasn't terrible, but he is costing it. Emerson now. Oh, nice ball. Here's Perez. Oh, he can't be offside there, Perez. I mean, I would say he's not offside, to be honest, but... Shouldn't even be in close. So, I would say a bit cagey from both teams at midpoint of the first half. Maybe sizing each other up a little bit. Nice play. Here's Cousins. Now back it with a little bit of space. That's poor though. Should have really got the ball through. And this is where I worry when Liao gets it. He can pretty much do anything. He's so quick. He's technically very good as well. 
But here's Perez though. Castro. And there it is, 1-0. The first proper chance. And it's a lovely finish. Nice play. Vieira out to Perez. Nice little ball in. It's a little first touch here and slots it away. He's deadly at that range. Nice cut back there. Just inside the corner of the post. And yeah, that was pretty much the first chance for either team. So, like I say, I think we've just been sizing each other up. There hasn't been a lot of space when you get in the final third. Pretty good defensively from AC Milan so far, which you would expect with the likes of Botman in there. But um, some nice play in the end to break through. Oh, what a save from Schubert. I actually, I was just assuming that was 1-1 there. And it's a shame we're not going to get a replay because that was an absolutely brilliant save. It was a very well worked situation for Milan. And here's Martinelli on the counter. Oh, went for absolute power and glory there. Nice play by Castro. Now Emerson out wide. Nice play to Cousins. Cousins. How the uh, defender got in the way of that, I don't know. I don't think he was anywhere near it when I first started taking the shot, but they seem to almost teleport into position. Oh, it just kept in there. Well cleared. Just be a little bit careful. And here's back. I've got a little bit of space to run. And he's still running. Ah, poor, poor. It was a poor pass, really. But it's 1 0 at half time. Very good, solid performance. But that save, I mean, it seems very obvious to say, but that save by. Schubert, absolutely crucial. Um, brilliant block. And here's Cousins. Uh, Martinelli. Castro. And there it is too. Top corner finish. Nice play down the left. Comes back into Castro. Again, back to goal. Love that. Look at that. Top corner. So good in that area. That's more like it. A little bit of a cushion. Obviously still a long way to go. Most of this half and then another match to come. So by no means out of the woods yet. But... Oh, could have been the hat-trick. And you would have expected that to go in the back of the net from Castro. He's so good. Didn't really do anything wrong. He hit it well. Lovely play there. And here's Martinelli. Oh, it's just behind him a little bit. Nice play. Vieira. Haven't seen too much of him. He was sort of key in the first goal. He was the start of that build up. He's been relatively quiet. Here he is. Oh, Nelly got in there again. Now, 
this could be a chance for Milan. Good tackle though. Good hustling. And great defending from Vieira. I wouldn't say it's the strongest part of his game, but uh, we've got a free kick. We'll make some subs now. Subs wise, we're going to bring on Bichet for Carlos Perez, Mudrick on the left for Martinelli, and we are going to bring on Arcas again for Fabio Vieira. Certainly didn't want to take Castro off whilst he's on and up, and he's on a hat trick. And like I say, Arcas coming on again because he's on and up. And I was thinking about bringing on Harrington, but I just think, yes, we'll want to improve Harrington, but a few games isn't going to make a difference in Arcas is in brilliant form. That's a foul. Here's Mudrik. Oh, deflects for a corner. But yeah, Arcas, he's only got a few matches left with us, really. He's going to be going in the summer. So let's make the most out of him. He's on and up. He's a very good player. Nice ball, and it's just wide. Normally, I'd say, you know, if you're going to sell a player, or a player's, say, getting on and, and decreasing in terms of stats, etc., put your youngsters in because every game they get they're going to improve that little bit more and that's probably what I should be doing um, putting on Harrington instead of Arcas because he's going to be with us you know after the end of this season um, but no you know Arcas is he deserves it he's been one of our best players he's played in almost every attacking position available well anywhere in midfield or attack I think he even played in defensive midfield at one point. The only place he hasn't played is in defence or goal. So he will be a mess when he goes. But I think I was justified in selling him for the fee that I got. I think it was close to 25 million. And we pretty much had no funds available um, before that. Anyway, let's concentrate on this game. Here's Mudrick. Now Castro. Back to Mudrick. Should have a little bit of pace about him. Fresh legs and all. Oh, just behind. Oh, but Arcas gets the block in. Nicely cleared. Wasn't trying anything too clever. And it's worked. I would say Ace Milan have been very solid defensively and that seems a bit strange seeing it when they're 2-0 down but they've been quite a struggle to break down as I would have expected before the match. Oh, but yeah, you cannot... Yeah, he was definitely offside but he can't be offside in that situation there. It wasn't really a benefit. He wasn't going to be running... All the way up to the goal, he was just going to be playing a pass after that. Good tackle. And a nice little ball to Mudrick. Has Castro got the legs? Uh, he hasn't quite. And the defender's pretty strong. Poor, poor pass. <sighs> Do not let in a goal at this stage. We're very hard to get a two goal lead do not want to be letting it slip with a few minutes remaining and I would say Isi Milano the team on top at the moment oh nice little ball through to Mudrik though oh and he said it wide Mudrik how could you hit that wide 
that would have been the tie absolutely nailed on there. 3-0, I don't know if there's any way of uh, Milan coming back. But a 2-0 going into the second leg, it's still uh, it's still possible. It really is. I mean, I really don't have too many concerns. I think we will get through, but... Here's Bajer. Now Emerson. Maybe one last chance. Emerson. Oof. But there it is. 2-0. Ruben Castro with the double. Yeah, and just looking at that possession-wise, we were very dominant with the chances as well. The one chance that really AC Milan created was in that first half when we were 1-0 up and Schubert made a magnificent save. And since then, we've been dominant. Man of the match, Castro, without a doubt, with that double. But the performance of the team was solid all round. That front three, as usual, very, very good. But the defensive midfield, absolutely brilliant. And the next match is against Lugani's away. And then we've got that home tie against AC Milan, taking that 2-0 advantage. It looks like in the other fixture, Wolfsburg are beating West Ham 2-0. So chances are it's going to be ourselves against Wolfsburg in the Europa League final. But we'll have to wait and see. So join me for that one next time. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.